Greetings everyone, um, welcome to day number five, third session and this is actually the last session of our program. It's been a lovely journey and it's only the beginning of a longer journey of a smoke-free life and for those who've been assessed, uh, those who have joined us with the purpose of being equipped to assist others, uh, we pray that this also is a the beginning of a journey of assisting many, many people uh, to stop smoking. And so without much further ado, we'd like to go into our schedule uh, for the next 24 hours. And having completed this five-day cycle, uh, we pray that you're beginning to establish habits that you will continue to adhere to for the rest um, of your life. Uh, whilst you enjoy abundant living. And so uh, let me share the screen for uh, the next 24 hours, the schedule of the next 24 hours. It's just basically each day is a repetition of what we covered previously. Um, and it's a lifestyle that you can sustain, a lifestyle that would reward you by, by taking up. And so today we want to be looking uh, into much of the details, but we just want to highlight a few principles uh, to conclude this program. Now, you will be entering into your fifth 24-hour uh, period, um, and probably you've gone through a weekend or you'll be going into a weekend. Please plan accordingly, remembering the social dynamics that we have mentioned. By now, uh, I'm sure uh, many have had at least a 24 hour period uh, being smoke free. Well done, congratulations. Uh, for those who've had more than one or two days, uh, continue with the good work. Uh, others may have struggled, may have slipped and fallen. Uh, please do not lose heart. Continue to put uh, strength, effort, continue to apply the principles that we've put in and continue to go forward. But in, in, in any case, whether you've gone through uh, one or two 24 hour periods without smoking, uh, whether you've reduced uh, the, your, in, your, your smoking, your number of cigarettes that you smoke per day. In other case, in most cases, um, most people have been smoking for years. It's a habit that has been established for a very long time. And one or two days success of being smoke free does not mean you're out of the danger zone yet. Yes, the nicotine levels are going down. Yes, your body has been throwing off toxins. Yes, you're building habits. Your taste buds are coming up. And that's excellent. That's good. We praise God for that. But you, you are still at risk of slipping back. Be on guard. Do not relax. Uh, be vigilant in your steps to uh, maintain the advantages that you have uh, now within your grasp. So each day, once again, continue to drink your lemon water before breakfast. Go for that cold mitten friction. Have a good meal. Avoid caffeine uh, at all costs. Uh, get some exercise. Continue to say, I choose not to smoke. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, Jesus said that without me, you can do nothing. Um, and that means that uh, even if we have gone a couple of hours, 24 hours, uh, 72 hours even without smoking, do not uh, take it as it, 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 this success has come through because of your own strength. Um, don't get proud and beat yourself on the chest uh, because pride comes before a fall. And it is very important to maintain that humility of mind, to realize this victory that you're experiencing, this change in life that you're experiencing is not out of your own power. It is because you called upon Jesus and Jesus strengthened you and you cooperated with him. Now continue to depend on him, not only to continue to successfully live a life that is smoke-free, but to also gain victories over other areas in your life that you may be facing challenges with. Family may need, may need to be rebuilt. Friendships need to be reestablished. Businesses need to be worked on. Your spiritual life, uh, other sins may be uh, burdening you. In whichever case, 
as you have received victory from Christ in this tobacco habit, know for certainty that if you cooperate with him and you continue to depend on him, you will gain victory in every, uh, in every area of your life. You just need to take it one day at a time and step by step. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's not only I can stop smoking through Christ who strengthens me. That's true, but that's not all. It's I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So welcome to the journey with Christ where your life will continue to improve um, from one aspect to another. Right. Um, let's move on to um, looking at your body. Uh, we want to highlight that, yes, many times smoking, it has been noticed that smoking has helped people control weight. And uh, truth be told, many times when you stop smoking, it's easy to gain weight. And we don't want to get into uh, that, 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 that challenge of being obese, of being overweight. It's not a healthy condition to be in. Um, and so we need to highlight a few things that you need to take note of as you are coming out of this stop smoking program, as you're now smoke free. Uh, just uh, take note of the following points to maintain good weight. Number one, avoid snacking between meals. Snacking between meals uh, increases your uh, likelihood of gaining extra unnecessary extra pounds. You don't want to uh, put on extra weight. You want to maintain um, a good, healthy weight. So have proper meals, eat breakfast like a king, eat lunch like a prince, and your supper like a pauper. As you sleep throughout the night uh, on a light stomach, uh, your body is not digesting heavy food and, uh, and finding no use of that extra energy that it would have now uh, taken up. That's what happens when you have a heavy meal at night. When you have a heavy meal at night, uh, your body digests it. You don't get sufficient rest. Your stomach is working throughout the night. Your brain is working throughout the night. And after your body has digested that, uh, the body now has this uh, large amount of energy, but you're not using it. You're not walking. You're just lying down and sleeping. And the body then converts that into fat. And so having heavy meals at night is one sure way of maintaining uh, excess weight or increasing your weight and you don't want that so avoid snacking and avoid having uh, heavy late meals uh, have a light meal at least two hours before you sleep and get uh, a, you know get time to digest that food before you you go to bed now one reason why there may be an increase in weight is because uh, Tobacco upsets digestive and metabolic functions. And once you stop smoking, your body then starts restoring these functions and your appetite begins to increase. You begin to utilize your food more efficiently. Uh, you begin to reabsorb the nutrients that you've been lacking in this. And this may lead to you uh, putting on uh, weight. So to deal with this, you need to maintain a good exercise regime, maintain a healthy lifestyle, Enjoy a low fat, low sugar, low cholesterol diet that's high in fiber. This will be an excellent way of maintaining good weight uh, whilst enjoying the food that you continue to enjoy. Now, you, when you notice that you begin to feel sorry for others who continue to smoke, when you no longer feel guilty uh, uh, and sorry for yourself that you're letting go of the tobacco, when you begin to build up more confidence and you begin to get a better uh, positive uh, image, then uh, you will know that psychologically you're around uh, the last bit of this struggle. So uh, those are just signs to show or road markings to show you that you are in the right direction and you are making progress. Please continue to maintain the positives in your mind, list down the positives, uh, the benefits that you're getting from being smoke free. Keep them clear in your mind, write them, put them on your fridge, put them on, on your desk, um, put them on your, 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 your screensaver, some way that you can easily uh, see uh, each and every day to remind you of the benefits 
of quitting smoking. I now add more as you can remember them. Right now, this, this will help you to continue not only with the 24 hours, 48 hours, but to continue uh, in the journey of being smoke free. Now, I would encourage you to take up a new hobby, uh, something to replace uh, the smoking, find something you enjoy, uh, reading a book, gardening, uh, uh, fixing things, plumbing, take up a new life skill if need be, um, and use your time in a recreative way that is productive and that would be beneficial to you. Spend more time with your kids if, if need be. Help your kids with their homework. Get to know them. Find something to replace that time that you'd spend alone smoking away from others. So uh, clearly state what your new hobby is and, and enjoy it. Now, as you enter into the weekend or as you've gone through the weekend and you face further weekends ahead, avoid, if, if you're a people's person, find social places to go to that would encourage your new smoke-free lifestyle. Go to church, uh, join a gardening club, uh, find something productive to do, help someone, uh, find other people, friends who you know who've been smoking, who are impressed by your new lifestyle and help them but don't be pulled into uh, situations that would lead you to smoke but pull your friends out one by one um, and introduce them to this new lifestyle we have just introduced you by the grace of god to a life of self-control stay in control um, enjoy your life christ wants you to have life and to have it more abundantly Remember your smoking friend, keep in touch with them and also continue to be in touch with the person who has been a non-smoker who has helped you through this journey. Right. If you look at the information sheet by now, you should be able to notice the changes from day number one up until this day. And uh, you'll, be, you'll clearly see uh, the advantages and the differences that you're experiencing in your health. So my friends... Thank you for being with us um, during this five-day Stop Smoking program. Please share these videos far and wide. Um, take this up as a personal uh, interest. Help others to stop smoking as well. Please remember to follow us on social media. We have a lot of material that we continue to share uh, that uh, people may be benefited and that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly um, we want to close with a word of prayer that you may commit uh, your new path into the hands of the lord that he may lead you into uh, into a continued fulfilling life so let us uh, let us pray as we as we conclude our father in heaven we thank you for the five-day program that you've given us we ask lord in heaven that you may bless the participants with good health, guide them in their life, continue to give them victory over temptation, not only with the issue of smoking, but with every other aspect of their life, uh, their families that need to be rebuilt, friendships that need to be restored, there's work ethics that need to be reestablished, there's businesses that need to be expanded, but above all this, the relationship with you, now, Lord in heaven, they've experienced the victory that comes in Christ. I plead, Lord in heaven, that they may be drawn closer to you each and every day, that their lives may be a testimony of what you can do when weak, feeble, erring, sinful human beings surrender themselves to you and depend on you, that you may manifest your power and your might in their lives. When they open the Bible to pray, please give them, give, when they open the Bible to read of your word, give them understanding, speak to them in their hearts, give them encouragement and strength and courage and wisdom. I plead, Lord in heaven, that they may come to know you, uh, that they may enjoy life eternal. In the name of Jesus, I pray all these things. Amen. This is Tavani Zona from Dead Angel Media. May the good Lord bless you in your new smoke free life. Amen.